According to Deloitte research, 75% of companies believe that workforce analytics are important, but only 8% believe that our organization is strong in this area. As a result, talent analytics is particularly challenging for organizations that manage contingent workforces. Gig workers, staffing suppliers, MSPs and managers produce millions of data points. Is there a way to leverage your workforce data to create a successful contingent workforce management program? A vendor management system, VMS, is your best bet. Welcome to a new episode of the Workforce Workshop. Today, we will be discussing in detail your VMS technology. What is a vendor management system? With a vendor management system, VMS, an organization can secure and manage staffing services temporarily, permanently, or contract workers. This can be utilized to manage complex staffing issues effectively. VMSs typically include the following, staff orders or job requisition, automated billing, functionality of business intelligence, reporting to management, engines the workflow, tracking amenities, catalog of service positions and skills. The VMS facilitates efficient requirement and long-term growth of employees while providing seamless access to qualified cost-effective human resources. A VMS manages staff operations and management procedures, which eliminates the usual inefficiencies and problems associated with workforce management. Successful VMS programs work with two providers to promptly recruit quality, affordable personnel. The following are some of the benefits of a VMS. The entire process is smoother and faster. Personnel with accreditation are recruited. Bids may be submitted by all vendors, resulting in competitive bidding. You can create standard job description as a buyer. The data about job candidates can be assessed from a single location and different systems can rank the application based on buyer needs. A central end-to-end -end workflow engine manages the process. Interviews, questions, and rejections are tracked at any given time. Besides the fact that jobs are competitively priced, here are the benefits vendors get. New hires approved quickly. High quality, uniformly delivered invoices. Reduction of reporting errors, staffing requirements are easier to access. Now, how can a VMS help you manage your contingent workforce? A VMS is an essential component of any contingent workforce management program. With workforce data and metrics stored in a central location, you can automate labor-intensive tasks and ensure high management strategies are standardized across your company. With the right VMS, you will be able to automate every step of your temporary workforce, from sourcing to acquiring to managing and paying on-demand workers. A VMS can benefit your business in several ways, increasing visibility, a contingent workforce management program in a complex undertaking, Consequently, most organizations have fragmented process that led to rogue spending and no unified strategy for hiring or managing employees. However, using a VMS ensures that all temporary workers go through a transparent company-wide hiring process, which HR and procurement personnel can use to streamline the hiring process across the organization. Your business has complete visibility into contingent workforce headcount and expenditure. Streamlined process. When hiring and managing temporary workers, your HR and procurement teams have to deal with various data metrics and documents. In addition, 
to wasting your company's valuable time. These tasks often result in costly errors that could have been avoided. Fortunately, a vendor management system makes the entire process automated. Your in-house team will have easy access to all of the data points at their fingertips, whether they are onboarding a new employee, reviewing the time card and expense, or analyzing supplier performance. Invest in the future. Your workforce objectives are consequently changing if your company operates in an industry with seasonal or peak demands. Your organization must build a talent pool that can be called upon whenever needed. This can be done with a VMS. Your company will be able to identify and hire quality candidates at short notice by storing the data of highly talented contingent workers you have previously worked with and staffing suppliers. Increase control over spending. The vast majority of businesses end up overpaying for third on-demand talent due to the lack of visibility and control over their contingent workforce management programs. Margin and profit are negatively affected by this practice. A VMS provides your company with the reporting and the analytics tool it needs to identify where temporary workers are overpaid or underpaid. This tool helps you to determine whether your company pays more or less than the market rate for temporary workers and staffing suppliers markups. Get a clear picture for the external workforce. Due to an increasingly complex and multi-channel global workforce, enterprises need a clear picture of where, why, when, and what rate their employees are working. By answering these questions, procurement and HR leaders will be better positioned to gain a competitive advantage. Now, let's talk about the challenges in the VMS technology. Although it has many benefits, some challenges must be overcome to ensure its smooth operation. A poorly implemented vendor management program can pose many challenges for an organization. These include, first, compliance risk for vendors. You can save a lot of time and money by setting standard before dealing with vendors. Some vendors may not meet your standards. When choosing a vendor from multiple vendors, you must choose one that meets your organization's standards and criteria and promises excellent performance. The second one, the reputation. Risk of vendors' multi-vendor management is not an easy task. Getting into a contract is also complicated because the quality of the work has to be determined upfront. Some vendors may lack care of your task in every professional manner, but others may deliver substandard work and disrupt all of your deadlines. Before choosing a vendor, it is imperative to conduct a background check. If you do this, you may gain some insights into vital points that you might have missed in the first place. Third, visibility is limited. A centralized data storage solution is very important for managing vendor data. Still, it also benefits the organization from a centralized view of data, allowing for better resource allocating and increasing efficiency. The fourth point is storage of vendor data. When your organization grows, it becomes essential to have a vendor data storage solution. Having to store and retrieve data in the absence of vendor management system might prove to be very difficult, especially if you are dealing with multiple vendors for multiple projects simultaneously. The fifth point, payment risk for vendor. Vendors may have different payment terms, while others may adhere to industry standard terms. Make sure payments are always paid on time is one of the major challenges, especially when dealing with multiple vendors at the same time. Next, what is the process of vendor management? 
In light of this, we can conclude that having an effective vendor management process is essential. Every step of the way, organizations must plan and execute a process for engaging with our vendors. We cannot have one vendor management process applicable to all enterprises and vendors. Still, we can identify the steps that underline the, an organization's start to finish engagement with its vendors. Setting business goals and identifying them. Establishing business goals that require vendor involvement is essential before the vendor management process begins. This helps understand the requirements of every business unit and prevents duplication of air effort and waste of resources when selecting and contracting with vendors. Additionally, these goals establish appropriate metrics that can later be used to measure and evaluate vendor performance. Establishing a vendor management term. The next step should be establishing a dedicated vendor management team based on the business goals. The centralized team should know how to identify business goals and KPIs for vendor management, select relevant vendors, negotiate the contracting process, assess the performance of the vendors, and track all transactions. The role of this team is crucial because they will act as an intermediary between the business units and the vendors and ensure collaboration between the two. Moreover, too many stakeholders will not be engaged. When vendor management is decentralized, the business units enter into multiple contracts with the same vendor or make desperate deals with different vendors. As a result, tracking and evaluating vendor performance is difficult and the organization is exposed to vendor risk. Establishment of a vendor database after the business goals are clearly defined and the vendor management team is up and running. The next step should be to build a database of all relevant vendors and vendor-related information. This has many advantages. It matches the needs of the business unit with suitable vendors. In the case of office supplies, computers, etc., the administration can identify the appropriate vendors. It will be also easier to compare vendors cross vendor after categorization based on their types. The system will streamline, information dispersed, and vendor information will be consolidated into one location and provide insight into the current status of vendors. For example, vendor with contracts in place, vendors requiring renewals, etc. You will be able to identify the long-term critical vendors and the short-term tactical vendors and assess the budget assessment as a result. Establishing the criteria for selecting vendors as soon as all vendor-related information is streamlined, updated and categorized, you must select the criteria to determine which vendors should be contacted. Although the cost has traditionally been the primary selection criteria for vendors, businesses are increasingly looking for other factors to determine which vendor can best meet their requirements. After all, the lowest price does not guarantee the best value. An article by a company that conducted some research stated that non-cost factors should be considered in selecting vendors. Financial stability, prior experience in the industry, industry recognition, the vendor procedures, economies of scale, and their legal regulatory record matters to make a great selection. For a comprehensive assessment of the vendors, it is important to consider all the factors mentioned above. Before choosing a vendor for high volume purchases, companies also conduct binding procedures, including RFQs, RFIs, and RFPs, selection and evaluation of vendors. 
the vendors at all these stages should be evaluated based on the selection criteria and, if applicable, the bidding process. Submitted proposals must be carefully evaluated to understand the pricing structure, scope of work, and how the requirement will be met, the terms and the conditions, expiring and renewal data, and so forth. Your organization will benefit from the vendor to the greatest extent possible. Be on the lookout for hidden savings opportunities. Consider the weaknesses and strengths of the vendors and how external opportunities and threats may affect your transaction and the vendor management process. Your vendor selection process begins after you have completed a complete evaluation from beginning to end vendor selection and contract development. You've got your chosen one now. Now it is the time to complete your contracting process and get your vendors on board. Legal and financial teams and the senior management involved with the vendors are usually assigned to the contracting stage. All other business units receive the contracts and engage with vendors after the contract is finalized. This is not the best approach in the long run. The business units interact with vendors daily, so they have valuable insights into how to maximize the vendor's performance. Therefore, all the relevant stakeholders need to be involved in the decision-making process. Here are some of the tips for improving your vendor management strategy. In your organization, you have a vendor management process best suited for your needs. Yet, managing vendors does not end the moment vendors are chosen. Techniques and best practices can enhance your organization's vendor management process and make it even more effective. Let's dive straight in. Communicate your expectations clearly when engaging with vendors. It is important to clearly define the business goals of the organization and the expectations of the vendors. Let the vendors know what you need now and what you need in the future and how that aligns with your organization's goals. It will allow you and the vendors to be on the same page and ultimately collaborate better in the long run. Setting benchmark, reducing risks related to vendor performance and compliance and evaluating vendors help improve vendor performance and compliance. Set realistic achievable deadlines in light of your goals and expectations. Setting deadlines that the vendors can meet realistically is very important. Impossible deadlines hinder vendor performance and value creation and increase risks and prevent meaningful collaboration. Keep long-term relationship with your vendors. You have heard the word collaboration quite a few times by now. It's necessary since negotiating with a vendor about pricing and performance results in successful transaction. However, when the vendor strategizes strategies to meet the goals and expectations, you can build a valuable long-term relationship. By collaborating, the enterprise and the vendor can develop innovative ideas on how to maximize their partnership and value creation potential. Getting better synergies from suppliers has been identified as a top priority in Zyga's annual survey. Working with suppliers to improve performance has been identified as a priority for procurement professionals. Establish KPI to measure vendor performance. How can we know if the vendors deliver the set expectations and business goals? It is important to establish key performance indicators, KPIs, to measure the various aspects of vendors and to know whether the vendor management process is working. When evaluating vendor performance, KPIs differ based on what organizations consider important. Below are several quantitative and qualitative ways to establish KPIs and manage vendor ROIs. Customer relationship management measured by the vendor's commitment, flexibility, and innovation. Cost management, a measure of discounted pricing or order cost. Quality, measured by expertise the accuracy of orders, 
Conformance to requirements, warranties, etc. Delivery, depending on how quickly you respond to order issues and emergencies. Satisfied customers. Identify and minimize vendor risks. This is probably the most important technique for ensuring vendor management meets expectation. Vendor risk assessment is not one step thing. It begins when you recognize the need for a vendor and continues afterwards. The vendor management process should include identifying all vendor-related risks at every step, assessing their impact and planning mitigation measures. You need to ensure that you are monitoring the internal and external environment of the organizations, as well as assessing all the controls you have in place their effectiveness and updating them as needed. Due diligence helps minimize vendor-related risks and ensure that vendor performance can meet all requirements. Finally, what role does VMSs play? VMSs have changed how recruitment organizations operate in a sense. Recruiting and staffing organizations receive fresh job requirements via a VMS. A VMS makes it easier for employers to respond to job openings with available candidates. In addition, it makes billing and payment easier. Staffing agencies can use VMSs to submit candidates. Clients can review talent using VMSs. This is fairly simple with digital technology. Consider an era before the VMS. To learn about job requisitions, recruiting companies used to telephone or the postal services. They could check clients' websites and receive emails after the internet was invented. The process left plenty of room for error, delay, and confusion. The VMS revolutionized this process. Recruiters can easily reach the latest job opening and acquisitions through single internet-based system. Recruiters must often import jobs manually into their recruiting systems without the team to sync with the VMS, a quick companion between staffing firms and the MSPs. MSPs or managed service providers are another component of the VMS model. As an evaluator of the staffing supplier quality, the MSP is supposed to be neutral and objective. MSP assists and clients such as Fortune 500 companies in selecting the most efficient responsive talent suppliers. VMS and MSPs are two part of the end client management and measurement of temporary staffing suppliers. A time before VMSs cannot be returned. Temporary staffing often relies on the VMSs. In contrast, if you equip yourself with talent acquisition suite that synchronizes with your VMS, you can utilize the full potential of your VMS. Then VMS cannot offer the full value they can. Lastly, how to choose a vendor neutral VMS provider. Choosing a vendor management system for your business isn't as simple as picking the first one you see. You can support your management goals by selecting, configuring, and installing the appropriate technology. As a partner with a vendor neutral MSP, you will be able to implement a VMS that best supports your management objectives, giving you the ability to and streamline your business process, transaction, and relationships. To conclude today's episode, organizations must choose a detailed VMS that automates and streamlines critical process to source, acquire, manage, and pay non-employee workforce and demand. These include requisitions requests for services, selection and onboarding of boarding, compliance approval, scheduling, expense management, and reporting. Additionally, VMS technologies can support your human capital strategies and objectives with extensive reporting capabilities and features. This is all for today's episode. Links to everything will be in the description below. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. It will notify you about new content that we share with you every week.
This will help us to produce great content for our professional audience. Let us know if there is something that you would like us to talk about in future episodes. Please click the link in the show notes and you can submit your questions directly to me. Thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next episode.